All right, so I've been getting bombarded with questions about gear. Um, surely those carrier videos I made, like, I don't know, four months ago didn't help out about those planes, but no one looks at those videos, so it's no, there's no problem there. Anyways, um, right. Let's talk about builds. Um, there's going to be a lot of people asking this, primarily people that are probably new players. So we'll go through the list of new player, mediocre player, end game player, and then like the variation of builds for bossing and that crap. All right. So let's get right into it. Um, if you guys are first starting out, the best build you probably have access to as of right now are these planes for fighters. You get these from 3-4. So toss those on. If you guys have been opening boxes or farming 3-2 as well. Probably purple hell divers are your best planes as well. And torpedo bombers are going to be a little bit strange. If you guys are farming um, C2 like I told you guys to, if you guys are new players, it will probably be something like this right here. That's probably the best load I can have as of right now. And whatever uh, catapults or whatever you guys have. If you guys have purple ones, okay, use those. If you guys don't have purple ones, uh, use oil, uh, aviation oil tanks. Those are okay for now. But this is probably what I expect a lot of you guys to be running as of right now if you're like a new game player. Um, something similar to this. Hopefully you guys are farming C2. Otherwise if it's not purple, I mean if it's not gold, use purple ones. But I don't have any so skip that. But early game, <clears throat> this is the kind of lot you want to run for. Um, good fighter or decent fighters, good dive bombers, um, parallel bombers, and then some kind of aviation buffers like tanks and catapults now you don't really care too much about the second slot that much because one thing is um implacable has this second uh third skill right here that lowers her reload and you're at the stage of, as of right now where you want to wave clear a lot so by doing a dive bomber slot you're air striking more and I know a lot of you guys aren't geared and funded, so you guys don't have like 135 reload, you guys don't have um, 35 permanent reload. This is 170 reload, by the way, there's a lot. You guys are probably staying at like a 130, 140 or something. You guys are missing out on a lot of reload. So I would definitely, definitely recommend this using faster planes. Or using a dive bomber to utilize her third skill, which gives more reload for more air strikes. Now, you guys could say using homing beacons, but we'll worry about that later. You guys probably don't have, was it, 500 core data. Save that for something else. Anyways, though, new game player, this is probably the build you're going to run. Now, mid game player, you're pushing towards uh, chapter 12, 13, all that jazz. This is where things start to get spicy. All right. So now you have the little, the better planes that so you have Hellcats, you have Corsairs probably. Um, but what you want to aim for is at least try to have Hellcats. Uh, if you guys don't have Corsairs going to chapter 12, Hellcats work perfectly fine. The dive bombers can stay here unless you want more anti-air protection for like, I don't know, chapters 12 and 13. You guys can either run a second Hellcat or if you guys have a pirate squad, the Corsairs run those. And for the parallel bombers, just stick the Barracudas, you can't go wrong with it. At this stage of the game, if you guys have better um, themed catapults, like gold ones, definitely toss those on. Otherwise, stick the purple ones, that is okay. And if you guys have homing beacons as well too, I definitely, definitely recommend using those on um, Implacable to get more airstrikes out. Very, very beneficial to have. You get these from core data, like 500 core datas or whatever, toss these on. And that's pretty much your mid-game set. All right, so that's what you're going to aim for as of right now. Now, as end-game players, um, there's going to be three scenarios: light armor, medium armor, and heavy armor bossing. This is where it gets a little bit trickier, but for the most part, similar, same thing. Now, the first thing is if you're pairing her up with a very, very good fleet. Let's say like the big hitters, Shinano, Hakuryu. Yorktown 2, Enterprise, those kind of ships. We're going to have to kick this out. Unless there's specific reasons as to why you want to run a homing beacon for the most part. Kick this out. Uh, because her her reload matches the big carriers like Shinano Hakuryu. Which makes airstrike timing much, much easier. And those two ships for the most part don't have to run um, homing beacons. So for this ship, doesn't have to as well either. So for this build, what you guys want to do is... 
get two steam catapults. Well, this is steam catapult. It, it may not look like it, but it's steam catapult. It's just steam aviation stat. And we want to go for light armor targets. What you want to aim for are these Havara planes. Now, it is a recent event. Some of you guys may not have farmed enough of it. But if you guys did farm enough of it, you guys are end game players. This is what you want to aim for as of right here. Now, we don't want to go dive bombers for the second slot because the, the dive bomber damage isn't very accurate. It's kind of cons inconsistent, but for the most part, though, it's not too, too terrible. But if you want to get big value out of this light armor build, you're going to have to run double Havar planes. And as for the torpedo bombers, at this stage of the game, your end game, you're good to go. You have a lot of uh, equipment and gear, whatever. This is the part where you want to go into converging bombing. Converging bombing lets you aim your torpedo bombers at one specific target which means overall more damage compared to parallel bombers so in this case there are three available these uh scions kai's from uh pr4 reuse saves from gear labs and junkers which are also from gear labs now at this stage of the game whatever torpedo bombers you guys want to run it's up to you uh, if you want more damage go reuse saves if you guys want more speed scions if you guys want more overall accuracy and like uh, in between performance junkers now i'm a big junker fan so i'm gonna go with junkers right here we're gonna toss these on and this is pretty much your light armor build this is double havara planes a converging bomber two avi aviation catapults this is basically your light armor build right here very aimed towards light armor focus as you guys can tell from the havara rockets 140 mods is a lot these will rip Light armor targets like no one's business. It is very, very powerful. So having two of these, especially at plus 13, is going to be very, very good. Now, there aren't any light armor uh, mod torpedo bombers as of right now. So junkers are going to be the best target, um, the best choice for this. Or reuses or sight wounds. So whatever you want to run here, it doesn't really matter. You're not going to get much value from these things. It's just a little bit extra damage. Most of the brunt of your damage for light armor are going to be these Havar planes right here. All right. Now, going into medium armor targets. Medium armor targets is going to be very similar to the light armor setup. But rather than Havar planes, we're going to be using AP rockets. AP rockets can be obtained from PR4. So, we're going to need two of these. And this is basically your medium armor setup for bossing as of right here. Alright. Now, the difference between si um, the Havars and the AP rockets, if you guys don't already know, are the mods. As you can see right here, we go to AP Rockets, we go to Havaris. Havaris have 140 on light and 110 on medium. However, AP Rockets, the prototype, uh, prototype BF109G, is 110 on light armor and 140 on medium armor. So the bigger number is going to be the better one. In this case, 140 is going to be on the AP Rockets, which are these, which is the medium armor one, and that's going to be your medium armor build. So double AP Rockets, Junkers, Two aviation catapults, and that's your end game build for medium armor. Now, as for heavy armor, battleships, all that stuff, here's where we're going to change things up. Now, there are numerous planes you can run for this uh, Sea Hornets, Tiger Fangs, uh, Flapjacks. I don't have any, I don't think I had to make any. Uh, but Flapjacks or Tiger Cats, whatever you guys want to run here, is up to you guys. Uh, but these are probably going to be your best heavy. Um, Heavy armor planes for the time being because if you guys look at the mods right here if we compare these to like say AP rockets they may not do a lot of damage um, that's 140 uh, mods on medium armor 50 on uh, heavy by the way but if we look at the two 1000 bombs here 115 on heavy it's not terrible it's uh, significantly better compared to AP rockets but as of right now for fighters, there aren't a there isn't a lot of good variations for heavy armor fighters. Thank God, though, because um, carriers are disgustingly broken as it is for bossing. So, uh, 115 is your best one. So either Sea Hornet, um, which are from uh, Gear Labs, I think. I'm pretty sure you get it from Gear Labs. Yeah, you can. Or farm them from Vanguard's event. Or these Tiger Cats, which are also from the Gear Labs. They're about the same thing. Like pretty much no different. Same mods, same damage, or similar damage. Everything is juicy. It's just a little bit of difference in the fire rate. I think cannon damage is like a little different or something like that. I can't remember. There's like small variations to um, 
this, but I think Seahorn is like a little, little, like a little bit better. Not that much, but like a little bit better. So that's going to be your fighters for heavy armor bossing. Now for um, the, mi the middle slot, we want to go a second torpedo bombers. In this case, you pick either a Saiyun, a Ryuze, or a Junker. Like I said earlier, I like Junkers, so we go double Junkers. And this is going to be your heavy armor build. So we go here, we look at the mods right here, 130 on um, heavy armor. It's a lot of damage. It's very, very accurate, very, very good. It's big, big damage for heavy armor. And that's your heavy armor build right there. Nothing changes. If you guys need the uh, reload speed, drop a aviation beacon for the um, aviation um, catapult for a homing beacon, which lowers the cooldown of your air strikes. If you guys need these, otherwise, for the most part, this is what people are probably going to run for end game. So, like I said before, Implacable is a very versatile uh, ship for bossing. Can fit into light medium and heavy armor it worked perfectly fine because each of those setups she has two good planes with very good mods going into those boss fights so that's what makes implacable a very 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 good ship to have for any kind of bossing scenarios very versatile so those are the builds um for people from early to mid game to end game let me know what you guys think hope you guys enjoyed the video hopefully you guys learned something from this video as well too and uh, for future references, watch my carrier videos. I have a, I literally have a video selection like in my playlist talking about all the gear. Now I'm not, it's not updated, but for, for the most part, I cover like pretty much all the good gear in the game. So can't really go wrong with it. So watch those videos, guys. Anyways, I'm out. Thank you guys for watching. As always, see you on next one.